Well, are you done? I always feel bad when one's done and the other's not. <laughs> so I made brownies last night. Don't know why I cut them like this. A lot of people asked to see my garden after the house tour. And the reason I didn't show that is because it's in pretty bad shape. I don't think I even showed you. Maybe I did show you guys how it looked before when it was like thriving and like had so many vegetables and herbs and stuff. But I want to show you guys how it looks now and please don't judge me because it's pretty much dead <laughs> it's gone this whole thing used to be full of oh a little hummingbird <laughs> yeah it used to be full of you know tomatoes strawberries cucumbers I had some honeydew still have a thriving orange tree back there but yeah it's kind of a mess it's just it needs to be cared for and I'm just not doing that right now but I will start I am getting a little artichoke right here. <laughs> so cute. But yeah, honestly, this makes me so sad. Just like see weeds and stuff growing in here. But I'll show you a little uh, progress report once it's doing better. One of the problems I have with gardening here is I have a corner lot. And so even though it is a big lot, you lose a lot of space because it's a corner. Also, not a lot of privacy. So I don't see myself staying here that much longer I'll never let go of this house I'll definitely like lease it out or something but I just can't imagine myself like really putting down roots here if I had to do it over again I wouldn't I wouldn't get a corner a lot um, I'll definitely never do that again but yeah I, you just lose a lot of space so that's pretty much all I have for gardening with like vegetables and herbs and stuff and fruits um, when it comes to flowers I can do more outside where like I have a I have a fountain um, I can do some more trees out on this side by the pool. But yeah, limited space. Just something to think about if you're ever house hunting. Um, I don't recommend a corner lot. I'm not feeling good about these guys hanging out on a white sofa. <laughs> I tried to keep them off, but they will not listen. Also, this is kind of random, kind of not, because people are asking about supplements all the time. Um, I wanted to start using a fish oil supplement in my routine and I don't definitely don't want to take the capsules. This is really tasty and it's easy to take. I actually want to take more than it says to take because it actually tastes really good. But yeah, no fish aftertaste, no nothing. Like you don't actually feel like there's anything fishy in here. Here's a look at the back too, in case you want to see that. So this might look strange what I'm doing. <laughs> I've got a rolled up towel under my neck and I'm letting my head hang off of the edge of the bed. So the reason why I'm doing this for four minutes every day is my chiropractor said that the curvature in my neck is starting to straighten out. Just wanna make sure I'm in frame here. <laughs> so yeah, I don't want that to happen and I I notice like I just my posture is so bad and my it's it's the it's this constant looking at our phones and our, you know, if you notice when you're looking at your phone, your head is down, you know, so your neck is over the years, it's, you know, the curvature is going to straighten out. So here I am trying to fix it. He wants to put me in traction. That sounded scary. So I'm just trying to do it at home. Also, this is by far the scariest angle I've ever seen of myself. That's a little bit better. Zelda. <laughs> So yeah, just uh, hanging out for another two and a half minutes. <laughs> I'm just gonna try to do that four minutes a day every day and then try to go a little bit higher, five minutes, six minutes. <sighs> it's not the most comfortable thing, but notice, notice the next time you're looking down at your phone, your position, your neck position, it makes perfect sense that over time, this whole generation is gonna have zero curvature in her necks. <laughs>
about 6.45 p.m. just sitting out here in the yard enjoying a nice sunset. The weather is so nice right now. The birds are flying around. They usually have their happy hour right there. The little doves come and sit right there on the jacuzzi. I have a lemon tree if you guys haven't seen it. It's actually not that many lemons right now. Usually it's like, like it looks like it could be a thousand lemons on here, but I decided since I have so many lemons, I need to come up with other things to make with the lemons. So I'm gonna make a creamy lemon pasta from a recipe that my friend showed me off of TikTok and um, lemon bars. I love lemon bars and they're pretty easy to make so I'm gonna make those for dessert. The weather right now could not be more pleasant. It's like the perfect breeze. Wow, <laughs> this is amazing. Interesting, Jenny, what Riveting. else? <laughs> <laughs> trying to get my, my posture better because I noticed on camera how bad my posture is. I'm actually shocked there was pasta at the market because it's been sold out everywhere for the last two months. Also, I don't know if anybody's like this, but anytime I cook, especially if it's like a lot, like a really involved meal, I clean as I go so that it's not a huge mess at the end. It's like my type A-ness coming through. It actually helps and minimizes a lot of the mess after. Just Mm, can you smell that? So good. Mm -hmm. My girlfriend Angie sent me the recipe from the guy on TikTok and she made the pasta and she's like, Tenny, this reminds me of that place you went to in Capri in Italy with the, um, the lemon restaurant. I'm sure you guys have seen it in um, like on Instagram and pictures, but it's actually the best meal I've ever had in my whole life. Like the entire restaurant, everything is based off of lemons. Like they make a fried mozzarella in between lemon leaves. Like, the probably the best meal I've ever had in my whole life. I could cry talking about it. It was so good. Full lemon. I'm kind of trying to avoid the white parts now. So that I'm just gonna grab and plop in here. I mean, if you're cooking, you you actually don't even need like a upper body workout, <laughs> right? It's just all your arms are like working. So this is gonna go into the oven, and it's preheated for I think 20 minutes. Let's see. I definitely have sugar in my shoe. <laughs> This is like my, my, my cooking gown. <laughs> my cooking moo moo. Since we're doing pasta, let me just tease this. So you see that KitchenAid mixer over there, the black one that I never use because it's so difficult. I have this attachment. And I've made my own pasta before by hand though. I never had like a, a machine to do it. I just like cut everything by hand. And it was so good. I made like a corn and polenta ravioli. But yeah, next pasta video will definitely be this. Should have used a bigger pot. <laughs> I've never done that before, so. I'm sure it serves a purpose. So you're just putting pepper on? Just pepper, yeah. Add cracked black pepper to a warm, dry pan. Add some pasta water to cheese mixture and mix un until combined. Okay, that's this. All right, so pasta water goes in here. Might be enough, I think. And then this I just have to stir. All right, so this I know is gonna like sizzle really hard. going to add the cheese mixture, which is this guy right here, the pecorino cheese and the lemon. I, I, um, I've cooked with mascarpone before because of Giada, Giada De Laurentiis. Do you guys know her from Food Network? 
You guys, I went to a book signing once of hers. <laughs> She did a book signing in Santa Monica and I went and she was so small and sweet. Take it off the heat and add the lemon juice. A lot of water in there. So I'm just gonna steep this tea. While I prepare the lemon bars. Okay, so finishing up this uh, lemon bar dessert. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a very light layer of the powdered sugar on top here. Usually lemon bars have like a really thick layer of it, but it's neither good for you nor does it taste good. So let's just do a light layer. I have two jars of these in the fridge. So these are preserved lemons and you can see the date I put on the top of the mason jar. It's November 24th when things were normal and happy. <laughs> Leaving the, the borders, you know? Yeah, because I like them to be nice and, you know, clean. <sighs> Look at that. Look at that. So those look pretty good, nice little lemon bars. So now I want to take, I can't open it. All right. We got it, thank you. Mmm, <laughs> it smells really good. It does, huh? Yum. Oh, we can use this for drinks too, hold on. Nice little preserved lemons on top of the lemon bars. Lemons, lemons, lemons. <laughs> What'd you think? It's good. It's tart. <laughs> I think you're just supposed to cook over that. I don't know if you can eat it, you know. Yeah? You can. I said I was gonna start to cook healthier. I'm about to make shrimp and grits. <laughs> It's so hard for me, it's so hard to cook healthy. <sighs> the fact is, I'm 35 years old and I can't keep eating like I'm 17. I, get, I gotta get serious, like I, I just, if you have some healthy recipes, leave them down in the comments, I need help. <laughs> but you know, I don't wanna let this stuff go bad, so I'm gonna make the shrimp and grits. Okay, so today I'm juicing. <laughs> I figured, you know, since I don't eat great, <laughs> this is kind of a way to get me to transition into healthier habits. The thing is, you have to know yourself. I know myself. I know I'm not the kind of person who can stick to a really strict diet and get really healthy. I know myself and I'm just the kind of person who likes tasty food. I've always been that way, probably always going to be that way. So I think recognizing who you are helps to like come up with some kind of routine that works for someone like you. For me, what's gonna work is starting to incorporate little habits like juicing that are gonna give me the nutrients while I still indulge in tasty foods. I'm gonna cut back on the bad stuff. I'm still going to have it here and there. Probably more than here and there. Listen, if you put something tasty in front of me, it's over. I have no self-control. I recognize that about myself. But like I said, I can start to introduce things like juicing into my routine to like, temper the the process instead of trying to force yourself into like a brand new routine all of a sudden just switching everything up that's gonna get overwhelming and it's probably not gonna last but if i start doing things like this like slowly starting to change my habits little by little i'm gonna develop a, a routine that actually works for me so then i'll be able to do the healthy stuff but i'll also continue to you know live <laughs> so i have here carrots lemon ginger kale, spinach. The one thing I forgot, which is kind of really important in this, is apple. And when you choose an apple for juicing, I would go with green apple because they're 
less sweet. You don't want you don't want it to be too too much sugar, too sweet. Um, but yeah, I, I forgot apples, so this is probably gonna taste like crab. I'm hoping the cucumber and the carrot might dilute the taste of the greens, but I'm just gonna try it and I'm gonna I'm gonna drink it no matter what. So I'll start this juicer. It's a really easy juicer to use. I don't know if I should start with the greens. Okay, so here we are. Here's my lovely green juice. <laughs> and the thing is with this stuff, I actually, I have to read about it because you can't, I compost for my garden, for my flowers and my vegetables. And composting is great because it's it's a good way to reduce waste and you actually get to use a lot of the foods that um, you would otherwise throw away in your compost. So I have a compost heap out there, but you're not supposed to put citrus or onions in there. Obviously I put lemon in this. I have to look it up if I'm able, cause that's great. That's actually great stuff to use in compost. Um, but I have to, I have to look up and see if for citrus, if it's the, if it's the, um, the skin or the inside. So I'm not going to throw this away quite yet. Here we go. Not as bad as I expected without the apple. It definitely needs the apple, but I thought it was gonna be disgusting. <laughs> it's actually okay. This is just something that I'm gonna to continue to do at least like three, four times a week. I'm gonna to try to do it daily if I can. That would be great, but realistically, let's just try for three to four times a week. That's just one thing I want everyone to keep in mind with stuff like this. When you're making lifestyle changes, go easy on yourself. Be patient with yourself and know that we're humans, we adapt to certain routines, and if you're trying to change up your routine, you can't be too hard on yourself. You have to gradually transition into new routines. So I'm gonna give myself a goal of three to four times a week, and if I could do more than that, great. Also, I'm starving. I could definitely have a burger after this. 